Hello everybody once again, this is Akuba Kazoo and welcome back to another episode of Knowing Your Skills. This will be episode lucky number 7. We will be talking about Consecration from the Inquisitor class. We will share with you all the stuff you will need to know including Dust, very own full damage combo with Consecration. Next we will talk about Chilling Point, also known as Death Bloom in Dian Dian It's a pretty little flower that the Sniper class has and we will share with you all the knowledge you need to know about it as well. The first thing you need to know about Consecration is that you should never cast it while facing a wall. Doing so will result in your Consecration skill not being cast successfully. You will need to master how you want to drag your in-game crosshair and place your Consecration in such a way that your target is still within the AoE as shown above. Also know that Consecration should not be cast while on flight of stairs like the ones in Lost Temple, Circular Arena and Snowfield. The next thing people will be wondering will be how much damage can Consecration actually do? The video footage will show level 2 Consecration which is achievable via the acquiring of a skill rate. Please note that this is done with buffs as well. You can also use Cure Relic to significantly increase the damage of Consecration. The Cure Relic used in this video is only level 1, which is why there's only a small increase of around 50 to 80 damage. Of course, higher level of Cure Relic will give you a higher increase in damage as well. So, if you didn't bother counting, Consecration can hit it up to 19 times, and given the average damage of around 1150 damage per tick, Without a Cure Relic boost, that's a total of around 22,000 damage. Which is extremely high considering that it's just an AoE aura place on the ground. Before we go into exactly how you can execute a combo to fully utilize the damage potential of Consecration, let's talk about how much spell armor the casting animation of Consecration actually has. In our first test, we'll be using Impact Punch with Field to cancel Consecration. It shows that he has some super armor there, but in our second test, we use Heavy Slash which actually managed to cancel Consecration. So Verdict, well, casting animation of Consecration does have some super armor, but definitely not as high as skills like Chain Lightning for Priest. To play it safe, cast it only when your opponent is caught in a bind or has received a stun for your Mind Breaker. I'll now share with you two combos that Das, the Inquisitor, will be sharing with you. Both combos require you to have level 11 Holy Bolt to pull off. The key here will be to know how Das actually maximize the binding duration from his Binding Relic. You will notice that he's taking time to cast his Holy Bolt after he gets the first Binding Tick from the Binding Relic. This is what I mean by maximizing the Binding Duration from his Binding Relics here. And that's all for Consecration and we will move on to Chilling Point for the Sniper. There are a number of basic information you need to know about Chilling Point. The first will be how the skill actually works. Upon casting, the flower lasts for a total of 20 seconds, it draws thread and aggro from nearby monsters as well. Upon activation due to nearby targets, it will tick once every 2 seconds and explodes after ticking 3 times, meaning on the 6th second. The explosion of the flower deals damage and has high super armor breaking capabilities as well. We will show you various examples of what we mean. There are basically three main situations you can encounter when facing Chilling Point. The first, the flower was cast and spawned immediately close to the surrounding of your location. This activates the flower immediately and you see it start ticking and pulsating, thereby exploding on the third tick. This is the most and basic form of Chilling Point that you will encounter. The second will be you entering the activation zone of the flower within the 3 seconds of its casting time. You will see it only tick twice, in which you will explode on the second tick. Last but not the least, the third situation. You are actually entering the activation zone of the flower any time after the 4th second, in which if you do, the flower will explode on its first tick. Right now, we have video footage to show you what we mean. You can see that in this situation, the flower ticks immediately. This is the first and the second and then will explode on the third. This is the basic activation of Chitting Point in situation 1. In the second situation, I'll be running into the chilling point when it's past or within the first 3 seconds. You can see that you'll pulse it twice or tick twice before exploding. The last situation is to show you that after you miss the 4th second, that means 4th, 5th second onwards, the flower will just tick once and you explode on that one tick. The rationale behind it is that 
For every 2 seconds when the flower is cast, you can see that the timer is already ongoing. So right now I'm just going to expose to the 1 tick. So the first 4 seconds will determine the first 2 ticks and once you get past those 2 time frames, you will just get the explosion the moment you enter within the activation zone. With this in mind, you can actually trick the cheating point to explode by running to activate it and then running out until it explodes. Upon activation, it will not stop ticking and you will definitely explode on the third tick as shown in the video footage now. So just how far is the activation zone for Cheating Point? According to Kiami the Sniper, it is around 7 to 7.5 meters which is about as far as the casting range of the skill as shown above. Tick 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 tick! Boom! Lol. <laughs> we also mentioned that the explosion of Cheating Point has high super armor breaking capabilities. But how high? Well high enough to break flying sync once again. Wait what? Don't worry. We we'll always have proof. And that's all for this week's episode 7 of Knowing Your Skills. Sorry if I sound a bit bored, I actually did it at 5am because in the day, opposite my house, there's construction and I don't, you, don't want you guys to actually hear all the ting ting tang tangs everywhere. And yep, I'm sick so I sound a bit weird, I guess. So I'm not sounding as enthusiastic as I want to be. But I hope you guys enjoy this episode where we showcase Cheating Point and Consecration from the Sniper and Inquisitor class respectively. Check out last week's Knowing Your Skills episode where we featured Detonating Arrow and Hacking Stunts and leave in the comments below which other two skills that you want to see next week and I guess I'll choose the two most thumbs up comments so leave those comments below and hope your friends want to see the same two skills in the next episode. So once again thanks for watching and check out all the other videos that we actually uploaded like the Sea Dragon S Hardcore mode that I did with Aqua Kazoo finally finishing it on my DPS character. And check out all the other queue of 4 modes fights as well. So once again, thanks for watching. Hope you guys subscribe to 2 Intensity Gaming to show your support. Thumbs up this video for me as well if you enjoyed it. And God bless and I'll see you guys next time.